Hi, in this video we're going to introduce general for loops in Java. So the format of a general for loop is like this. We say for some initialization, semicolon, some test, semicolon, and then some increment, and then whatever code we want to execute. So we were just dealing with the most simple version of a for loop before, and now there's a lot more general stuff we can do. So let's look back at that loop with this general structure. So when we say int i equals zero, that's the initialization step. That happens once at the start. And then there's the test step. That's the question we ask every time to figure out if we should execute this round of the loop. And then there's the increment step. After we've executed one round of the loop, we make this change. So usually we're changing that variable. So here we're saying i plus plus, add one to i. So let's write a couple programs and look at a couple programs using a more general version of the for loop. So this is a program that writes a countdown from 10 all the way down to zero. So we say for int i equals zero, i is greater than or equal to zero, i minus minus. And then here's a program that lets us count by two. So we're saying from i is equal to zero, i is less than or equal to 100, i plus equals two. So notice that we're saying less than or equal to, it's a different test, and then plus equals two, we're adding by two, not just by one. Let's go into our code editor and look at these problems. Okay, so first let's write the countdown program. So we're gonna say for int i equals 10, i is greater than or equal to zero, i minus minus and then system.out.println i. So let's run this program. Great, and so it does what we expect. And what's really happening here is that we're starting i at 10. Every time we're asking, is i still greater than or equal to zero? And then if it is, we print out i, and then the change of every round in the loop is we subtract one from i with i minus minus. So if I change i starting from 10, to 100, what do you think it's gonna do? So let's find out. We'll run the code and we'll see that instead it counts down from 100 all the way down to zero. Let's take a look at the other program. So in this program, we're gonna count by twos from zero to 100. So we'll say four into i equals zero, i is less than or equal to 100, i plus equals two. Remember, plus equals is a shortcut we're saying i equals i plus two. And then we'll say system.out.println i. So let's run this and we'll see what happens. We go zero, two, four, six, eight, all the way up to 100. What do you think this is gonna do if I change this plus equals from two to three? What do you think that's gonna do? Let's try it out. What that does is has us end up counting by threes. And so there you go, we can see we're printing out i every time in the for loop. So that's the more general purpose version of a for loop.